Welcome to Washington, D.C., my hometown, our nation's capital, named after George Washington, the capital of the United States of America. It will not surprise anyone in this group when I say behind every great man is an even greater woman. And these are the women that I found along my travels when I produced the C-SPAN series, First Ladies, Influence and Image, along with a wonderful team of producers and staff at C-SPAN that I had the good fortune of working with, and it was a privilege to be a part of their project. It made me the First Lady's man. <laughs> As I traveled the country for a year and two months with seven bags of gear, tirelessly gathering these stories of these women, these women before, during, and after the White House, I logged a lot of miles. My feet got very tired. I needed prescription glasses. A shot of Novocaine, or cortisone rather, in my back. Novocaine might have helped as well. <laughs> cortisone in my hip. About three rounds of z pack for walking pneumonia. But every TSA agent at BWI knew me by name, and breezing through security was a pleasure. But along the road, I discovered that these women, these unpaid, these unelected women, were remarkably more part of the story than I had ever been taught or ever realized. They are the most powerful and influential, unpaid and unelected women in the world. Washington, D.C., George Washington. We all have him on money in our wallet. He's number one on Mount Rushmore, but he married up. <laughs> <laughs>